Okay, so I've got everything loaded that I might need. can and a few other things. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I forgot my garbage can. I did. Ah. actually bought this at an auction. It was um, the, uh, it was from a factory actually. It's for disposing of oily oily rags and everything. But it makes a great garbage can. It, does. it was from Nortel. So, it was from Nortel it was. Yeah. And I'll leave it here today. Everything else is back in there. That chair there is a hell of a thing. I did well to get it in there. But it already looks a little more open. My friend that was supposed to come and claim that, again, didn't keep her word, I guess, but I'm used to that. You know, I'm not actually really surprised. People be that way. So anyway, this will likely at some point be going to the dump, and that's too bad, you know, but it was something that her um, uncle had made for her mom, and now, of course, they're both, all, they're both gone, most of that, most of those people in her family are gone, and she seemed like she wanted the thing, but anyway, when I offered it to her, but like I say, she just didn't keep her word, and it isn't the first time that's happened with her or with others, too, it isn't just her, it seems to be a common thing in society now. People just don't keep their word, and they don't get in touch to tell you that they're not going to be able to do what they say they do. And so, there you go. Okay, let me see. So I guess, unless I'm going to go live under a, I don't know, back in the deep woods somewhere, and I don't know, choke bears to death to eat them and stuff like that with my bare hands. Um, I had better just get used to dealing with people not keeping their word because that's what society is now. Sad though, you know. And it does, I got to admit, I am kind of frustrated anyway about that, but it is what it is. It is what it is, that's all. It's just the way people are. Anyway, I got everything back in there. It was a bit of a struggle, uh, but I did it. And there's actually a little more room in there now because I took that other stuff out. Not a lot, but a little. Uh, they had to move this storage, you know, this 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 um, storage container, but I had to move them all from the property where they were because, unfortunately, the town of Perth got upset. It's an awful there's an awful lot of Karens in Perth, and. Uh, I guess they didn't want a storage facility on the outskirts of town, on the other side of the tracks, on the highway. So, it's not like it was in the center of town or anything. But anyway, they didn't want it there, and they raised hell until the town got an injunction to force them to move everything. So that must have been quite a job for, for, for young Chad, anyway, to have to move all this stuff, you know. And they were going to start putting fines against him if he didn't have it moved. Um, when they wanted it moved. So, anyway, like I say, perils of being in business, I guess, you know, you're kind of subject to other people's proclivities and whims and whatnot. But he didn't do too bad a job anyway. I mean, I, don't, I haven't found anything broken yet. I do notice everything back there has shifted. It's all kind of fallen in, but, you know, what can you do, eh? That, that, that happens, I'd imagine it's happened with them all to one degree or another, so I may find some broken stuff in there, but if I do, I do, it just is what it is. 
I don't really need most of this stuff, <laughs> really. I was just under pressure to unload a house, and this is what happened. The house got unloaded into a storage locker. Anyway, I'm going to need both hands to close this up, so I'm going to shut this down.